Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Yes. 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 Así que en la plataforma el día 20 de noviembre figura como si tomó asistencia a usted. Eh, pero ese día no tomó asistencia y me figura como signito de pregunta. Ay, ya, signito de pregunta, ya está. No voy a eliminar ese signito ese, ese día, ¿ok? Porque igual lo he tomado de otra forma, porque de verdad que con tantas cosas que estaba viendo aquí en la clase, entonces se me ha pasado eso. Pero igual, o sea, lo que ustedes ponen por eso me va a ayudar bastante para saber los días que estuvieran, que entraron temprano o entraron tarde. Okay. Thank you. O sea, que el viernes 20 no como accidente. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Good morning. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for the marathon? Yes, the marathon of studies. English today. English marathon. Okay. <clears throat> Excellent. So, we have to finish now um, this part, the listening. Okay. So please pay attention and let's go. Okay. The activity is listen again. Answer each question in your notebook. Not, not in your notebook. It's not necessary. In your book. Okay. If you want, if you want, you can use your, your notebook, but it's not necessary. Okay. What is question number one, please? Carolina Cartagena. No. What year did the park start? Very good. What year did the park start? Question number two, please, Paola. Paola, Paola, Paola. How many gardens do people have in the park? Uh -huh. Thank you. How many gardens do people have in the park? Thank you. Uh, lady, number three, please. What do you say a neighbor eat there every month? Thank you. What do the neighbors eat there in the park every month? Okay. Please, Flavio Mendoza, number four. Mm. What do neighbors eat there every month? Oh, no. Number, number four. four, please. I can do this on that one. Okay. How many people come to the monthly dinners? Okay, that, yeah, dinners, very good, yes. How many people come to the monthly dinners? And please, Jonathan Salazar Vivanco, number five. Okay. How many pubs like these are there is parks now? Uh-huh. How many parks like this are there in Paris now, okay? So, are you ready to listen or you have maybe questions about vocabulary? Do you have questions here? No. Okay. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Excellent, please. Son las 10 de la mañana, okay? So, se lo paso al grupo de las 8 que todavía parecía que estaban... Okay, but it's 10 in the morning, so let's go. Hello, and welcome to City Scene. Paris has a very unusual park. It's called the Jardin Nomade, and it's in a very busy urban area in the eastern part of the city. Today, we're talking to Isabelle Dupont, one of the organizers of the park. Isabel, why is the Jardin Nomade unusual? Our park is amazing because it's so small. 
It was just a piece of empty land between two very busy streets. We wanted a park in our neighborhood because we wanted a place to grow flowers and vegetables. So in 2003, the city government helped us to start the park. Today, there are 54 small gardens in the park. Families grow things like tomatoes, beans, and lettuce in their gardens. That sounds wonderful. Has the Jardin Nomade changed the neighborhood? Yes, it has. In the gardens, we got to know our neighbors. Now the park is a meeting place for everyone in the neighborhood. And every month, we have dinner in the park one night. We cook a lot of soup together, vegetable soup. All the neighbors bring tables and chairs to the park, and we have a great time. More than a hundred people come to the dinners. Imagine I go to the Jardin Nomade tomorrow. What will I see? Well, it's February now, so you won't see any flowers or vegetables. But you'll see kids playing and neighbors talking together. People use the park all year, and in spring, people will start working in their garden. The city needs more parks like this. Now there are 40 of these urban gardens in Paris. Next year, we'll help more people start them in their neighborhoods. Ready? Or one more time? Yeah, are you ready? Or do you want to listen to the audio one more time? One more time. One more time. Okay, one more time, teacher. Let's go. Hello, and welcome to City Scene. Paris has a very unusual park. It's called the Jardin Nomade and it's in a very busy urban area in the eastern part of the city. Today, we're talking to Isabelle Dupont, one of the organizers of the park. Isabelle, why is the Jardin Nomade unusual? Our park is amazing because it's so small. It was just a piece of empty land between two very busy streets. We wanted a park in our neighborhood because we wanted a place to grow flowers and vegetables. So in 2003, the city government helped us to start the park. Today, there are 54 small gardens in the park. Families grow things like tomatoes, beans, and lettuce in their gardens. That sounds wonderful. Has the Jardin Nomade changed the neighborhood? Yes, it has. In the gardens, we got to know our neighbors. Now the park is a meeting place for everyone in the neighborhood. And every month, we have dinner in the park one night. We cook a lot of soup together, vegetable soup. All the neighbors bring tables and chairs to the park, and we have a great time. More than a hundred people come to the dinners. Imagine I go to the Jardin Nomade tomorrow. What will I see? Well, it's February now, so you won't see any flowers or vegetables. But you'll see kids playing and neighbors talking together. People use the park all year, and in spring, people will start working in their gardens. The city needs more parks like this. Now there are 40 of these urban gardens in Paris. Next year, we'll help more people start them in their neighborhoods. Is this clear, or do you want to listen? One more time. One more time, teacher. Okay, the last time, okay. Let's go. Hello, and welcome to City Scene. Paris has a very unusual park. It's called the Jardin Nomade, and it's in a very busy urban area in the eastern part of the city. Today, we're talking to Isabelle Dupont, one of the organizers of the park. Isabelle, why is the Jardin Nomade unusual? Our park is amazing because it's so small. It was just a piece of empty land between two very busy streets. We wanted a park in our neighborhood because we wanted a place to grow flowers and vegetables. So in 2003, the city government helped us to start the park. Today, there are 54 small gardens in the park. Families grow things like tomatoes, beans, and lettuce in their gardens. That sounds wonderful. Has the Jardin Nomade changed the neighborhood? Yes, it has. In the gardens, we got to know our neighbors. Now the park is a meeting place for everyone in the neighborhood. And every month, we have dinner in the park one night. We cook a lot of soup together, 
Vegetable soup. All the neighbors bring tables and chairs to the park, and we have a great time. More than a hundred people come to the dinners. Imagine I go to the Jardin Nomade tomorrow. What will I see? Well, it's February now, so you won't see any flowers or vegetables. But you'll see kids playing and neighbors talking together. People use the park all year, and in spring, people will start working in their gardens. The city needs more parks like this. Now there are 40 of these urban gardens in Paris. Next year, we'll help more people start them in their neighborhoods. Hey, are you ready now? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Okay, excellent. In a second, please. Okay. Okay. So, what year did the park start? Fifty-four. In the year fifty-four. 2003. Yeah, it's 2003. Okay, 2003. In three, sorry. How many gardens do people have in the park? 54. Mm -hmm. 54 parks. Number three. What do neighbors eat there every month? Vegetable soup. Vegetable soup. Number four. How many people come to the monthly dinners? More than hundred. More than a hundred. Yes, more than a hundred. More than a hundred. Must be seen. More than a hundred. And number five, how many parts like this are there in Paris now? There is hundred without the eight in hundred. Eight hundred? Eight hundred? The question number four, four the world oh. hundred. Here? Yes. Okay, and number five, how many parks like this are there in Paris now? 40. 40. Good. So was this difficult, maybe? Yes? Okay, but it's okay. ¿Qué significa eso? Que tiene que practicar more listening, nada más. Okay. Y justamente estamos en eso, en listening and pronunciation. Okay. Um, so, what is pronunciation today? What is the pronunciation for today? Emphatic stress. Aha, uh -huh. emphatic stress. Okay, emphatic comes from emphasis. Emphasis, okay. So, for example, here, okay, um, I want you to listen, okay, in the sec. Okay, so listen and repeat the exchanges, okay? What is exchanges in Spanish? Exchanges? Intercambios. Intercambios. Uh -huh. Intercambios. Intercambios or conversations. In exchange of ideas. Okay. Notice. What is notice? Noticia. Uh, no. Notice is dar, da, darse cuenta. Okay. Date cuenta. Notice. Date cuenta. How the underlined words. The underlined words. Expensive. Really, apartment, house, new, old, old, walk, can't, and far. Okay, pay attention to these underlined words. Okay, because they sound stronger. What is they sound stronger? 
fuerte. Sonido fuerte. Ah, sonido, sonido más fuerte, stronger. ¿Ok? Are you ready to listen? Yeah. Okay. Please, right now, don't repeat, okay? Don't repeat, just listen, pay attention, okay? So, so do not repeat, okay? Listen. Number one. Is your city expensive? Yes, it's really expensive. Number two. Do you like living in an apartment? No, I like living in a house much more. Number three. Is your neighborhood new or old? The houses are very old. Number four. Can you walk to school? No, I can't. It's too far. Okay, listen, please, one more time. Number one, is your city expensive? Yes, it's really expensive. Number two, do you like living in an apartment? No, I like living in a house much more. Number three, is your neighborhood new or old? The houses are very old. Number four. Can you walk to school? No, I can't. It's too far. Okay, now it's time for you to listen and repeat. Okay, is this clear? Okay, yes. so yes. please repeat, okay, on the emphatic, okay, word, the emphasis, okay, on the underlined word, okay, so let's go, listen and repeat, okay, go. Number one, is your city expensive? Yes, it's really expensive. Is your, your city expensive? Yeah. Yes. 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 Y
no, no, o sea, no, pues no va el énfasis ahí, no es, yes, it's really expensive, ¿ok? Entonces dice really, pero no en énfasis, ¿ok? Good. Number two, please repeat after me. Do you like living in an apartment? No, I like living in a house much more. No, no, I, 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 I like in living in a house much more. Okay. Um, good. So, number one more time. Okay. So, ¿por qué aquí, bueno, el énfasis en el primero es an apartment? ¿Por qué es el énfasis en an apartment? Está viviendo en un apartamento. Eh, exactly, ¿no? Porque uno puede vivir en muchos lugares. Ok. Pero aquí específicamente dice an apartment. Ok. Y ahora, ¿por qué el otro dirá house en énfasis? Porque está negando y está diciendo que no vive en apartamento, sino en ah, casa. Ah, exactly. No, está diciendo que no y está aclarando dónde. Ok. Excelente. Ok. And number three, repeat after me. Is your neighborhood new or old? Is your neighborhood new or old? Okay, new or old? New or old? Uh-huh, please be careful. No, it's new or old? No, 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 no. Okay, it's new or old? or old, ok? It's different. Good. So, ¿por qué piensa que el énfasis es en new or old? Porque son esas dos opciones en la, con las que va a responder la otra persona. Exactly. Very good. Le das as new or old. Ok? Very good. Now, repeat after me. The houses are very old. The houses are very old. Y el letter B, what is, where is the emphasis, in very or in old? Old. Oh, how do you say very old in Spanish? Muy viejo. Muy viejo. Entonces, por, mi pregunta ahora es, ¿por qué el énfasis está en muy ahora, como estaba en really expensive? Mm. Porque la primera pregunta dijo que la, la dos opciones era new or old. Y responde que es bien new or or. Exactly. No, en la primera no hay opción. Es solo expensive. Entonces, mm -hmm. lo único que puedo hacer es enfatizar más que es caro. Muy caro. Realmente caro. ¿Okay? Pero en el tercero, es entre dos opciones. Tienes que elegir una de ellas. Entonces, el énfasis tiene que estar en una de ellas. The houses are very old. Porque también podrían, también podrían ser, the houses are very new. ¿Se dan cuenta? No es el énfasis en very. No, porque hay dos opciones ya. Is this clear? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay, and number four, please. Repeat after me. Can you walk to school? Can you walk to school? Can you walk to school? No, I can't. It's too far. No, I can't. It's too far. Okay, very good. So in letter A, what is the emphasis? In what word? Walk. 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 Okay. ¿Por qué habla de cómo llegar al colegio, cierto? ¿Podrías llegar al colegio en solo caminando? Bus. Abajo. Con, bueno, puedes llegar en bicycle, puedes llegar en bus, puedes llegar en taxi, puedes llegar en car, ok? En train, ok? Entonces, ¿por qué dice walk? Porque es una de las formas. Entonces, su énfasis es ahí. Walk, ¿ah? Ok. Can you walk to school? No, I can't. Ese es mi énfasis. Porque es el no, la respuesta. No, no puedo. No, I can't. Y le da la respuesta. It's too far. Y le da la razón del por qué no puede. Is this clear? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Ok, excellent. So, hacer recordar que en emphatic stress, ese emphatic stress depende de ustedes. No es que Siempre es expensive, siempre es really, siempre es apartment. No. Depende de qué? Del intention, your intention. ¿Ok? ¿Es this clear? Yes. Yes. Ok. One more time. It depends on your intention. For example, here. 
Repeat after me. Are there any parks in your neighborhood? Are, are there, are there, any, there parks any parks in your neighborhood? neighborhood? So why parks is in fact emphasized? Because no solamente hay parks in a neighborhood, no? ¿Qué más puede haber? Restaurants. Restaurants. Okay. Por eso hace parks, para que, para que sepa, porque le estás preguntando si hay, pero hay qué? Parks. Restaurants, museums. Entonces, para hacer un énfasis en lo que me pregunta. Okay. ¿Y el que le responde? ¿Por qué le hará el énfasis en to? Respondiendo cuántos. Eh, exactly, porque está respondiendo a la pregunta principal que es cuántos. Okay. Repeat after me. Are there any parks in your neighborhood? Yes, there are two. Yes, there are two. So it sounds correct or no? Yes, no. there are two. It's correct? Yes, there are two. It's no. correct? No. 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 Porque mi énfasis yo del inicio dice en there. No tiene por qué en there. Porque la respuesta a la pregunta es la que he enfatizado. So, yes, there are two. Ok, repeat after me. Yes, there are two. Yes, there are two. Ok. Uh, good. Ok. So, for example, now here, other question. What can I emphasize here? Like chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. chocolate. Like. 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 Intention. La intención. La intención. ¿Qué pasa si... Exacto, no tu pregunta. Por ejemplo, yo si yo quiero saber sobre si es el queque el que le gusta... Cake. ¿Dónde hago el énfasis? Cake. Ah, ¿se dan cuenta? Do you like chocolate cake? Okay. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué lo único que hay de chocolate? ¿Hay solo cake y chocolate o hay otras cosas de chocolate? Hay muchas cosas. ¿Qué más puedo hacer ahora? Ice cream. Ice cream, no, ice cream puede ser ice cream. No, el clásico ejemplo del ice cream. ¿no? Do you like chocolate ice cream? ¿Se dan cuenta? Entonces ya mi énfasis cambia, porque mi intención es saber si es ice cream, si es cake, si es, no sé, tamal. <laughs> ¿Ok? ¿Es this clear? Yeah. Ya, ahora qué pasa si yo quiero saber si el sabor del queque. Yo sé que el queque, pero quiero saber el sabor. In chocolate. In chocolate. Ah, obviously, in chocolate. So, what is the correct what is the correct option? Option one, do you like chocolate cake? Or option two, do you like chocolate cake? The option one. Option yeah, one. very good. Option one, porque es mi intención. Mi intención es saber qué, qué sabor. Okay. Do you like chocolate cake? No. Chocolate cake. You like chocolate cake? Okay. Eh, very good. And si yo quiero saber si le gusta, ¿dónde hago énfasis? Si le gusta chocolate like, cake. Like, like, like. Ah, very good. Okay. Do you like chocolate cake? Ven, ahí mi énfasis es en like. La persona va, ¿qué va a decir? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Or, ¿qué puede, qué puede decir? No. No. I, I hate it. No, I hate it. In my case, no, I don't like chocolate cake. Okay, excellent. So is this clear? Yes. Very good, very good, excellent. Okay, this is como le, una vez vimos creo que word stress, no, el estrés de la, no el estrés, no, sino el énfasis de las palabras. Ahora es el igual mismo, 
¿ok? Emphatic stress, es lo mismo. ¿Ok? Y recuerden que el énfasis depende de what? Intention. Intention, very good. ¿Ok? Excelente. Um, good. Now we have to go with conversation. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Okay. So conversation. Um, what is the question here? Uh, what is the problem in Sarah's neighborhood? Oh, there is a problem in Sarah's neighborhood. Now, what is the problem? Are you ready to listen? Yes. Yes. Please. Yes. No no trampita, okay? No trampita. Okay, listen and answer. Okay, let's go. How do you like living in your neighborhood? Well, it has a lot of beautiful old buildings, but there are some problems. Like what? It doesn't have many different stores. There's only one supermarket, so food is very expensive. That sounds like a pretty big problem. It is. But the city is building a new shopping center now. Next year, we'll have more stores. One more time, okay? One more time, one more time. How do you like living in your neighborhood? Well, it has a lot of beautiful old buildings, but there are some problems. Like what? It doesn't have many different stores. There's only one supermarket, so food is very expensive. That sounds like a pretty big problem. It is, but the city is building a new shopping center now. Next year, we'll have more stores. What is the problem in Zara's neighborhood? They don't have many stores. Their food is expensive. Okay, what is the answer? The answer? Don't have, don't have many, what? Stores. Okay, excellent. Um, so, vamos a analizar su respuesta, your answer. Don't have many stores. Si yo, usted me dice, don't have many stores, ¿quién no tiene, don, ¿quién no tiene many stores? Uh, it, Sarah's it, neighborhood. Okay, miren, Sarah's neighborhood. Huh? Sarah's Neighborhood. Yes, neighborhood. Okay, so Zara's neighborhood don't have many stores? Is this correct? Uh, it does, doesn't. Why? Why doesn't? Uh, because it. Because it. It. What it? Uh, uh, Zara's neighborhood uh, is it. Uh, ah. it is, very good. Zara's neighborhood. What is Zara's neighborhood? What is a pronoun? Is it? Yes or no? He. Zara's neighborhood is it? Or it's he. he. Or, or maybe it's he. He? No, it's... No, maybe it's she? No. No. Uh, we, we. It's I we? Don't know. Uh, no, teacher. No, is it. Por lo que se puede reemplazar, yes? It's it. Is this clear or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Zara's neighborhood is it. Don't have? Doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. Doesn't have many stores. Ahora sí tiene esto sentido. Okay. So, one more time. No escuché nada. What is the problem in Zara's neighborhood? It doesn't have many stores. It doesn't have many stores. Very good, excellent. Okay. Si gusto, ustedes pueden decir, Zara, or it doesn't have many stores because you understand. Okay. Excellent. Now it's time to practice the conversation. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but it's colorcito. Yeah. Okay. Um, repeat after me, please. How do you like living in your neighborhood? How do you How like, do like living, living, living in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? Okay, one more time, please, with energy, okay? Dos tacitas more of energy, okay? <laughs> How do you like living in your neighborhood? 
Well, it has a lot of beautiful old buildings, but there are some problems. Okay, uh, what, 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 one more time. <laughs> well, it has a lot of beautiful old buildings, but there are some problems. Well, well, it has a lot of beautiful and there are some problems. There are some problems. Like what? Like what? Like what? It doesn't have many different stores. There's only one supermarket, so food is very expensive. That sounds like a pretty big problem. That sounds like a pretty big problem. It is. But the city is building a new shopping center now. Next year, we'll have more stores. Next, next year, we'll have more stores. Very good. Okay. So is this clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So because it is clear, now it's time to practice. Yay! Okay. You're going to practice in Yay. groups. <laughs> okay. Uh, now let's see. Dun, 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 Yeah. Okay. Please join your groups. You have to practice this conversation. Go, 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 go. Join your groups, please. It has a lot of beautiful old buildings, but there are some problems. Like what? It doesn't have many different stores. There's only supermarket, so food is very expensive. Mm, that sounds like a pretty big problem. It is, but the city is building a new super shopping center now. Next year, well, I have more stores. Yeah, how do you like like living in your neighborhood? Well, you have a lot. You see, all buildings 
but there are some problems. Like what? Alibase has many different stores. There's only on supermarket. Food is very expensive. That sounds like a very big problem. It is bad. The city is building a new shopping center. No, next year. We'll have more stuff. Mm, yeah. What do you think? Yo, what do you think? A ver, otro alumno no tengo. Y el otro es thousands. What? Um, ¿Dónde? Ben, that sound like a pretty big problem. ¿Así está bien? Sound. Mm, that sounds, sound. Sound, ¿no? Está bien. Sound like a pretty big problem. Sounds. Sound. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Mm. De nuevo, pues. Yeah. Yo soy Sara y Nicole es Ben. Nicole? Nicole? Nicole, ¿estás ahí? Estoy, acá estoy. Ahí, ya. Tú eres Ben y yo soy Sara. Ya. ¿Cómo te gustaría vivir en tu neighborhood? Well, it's a lot of beautiful old buildings, but there are some problems. Okay, now let's continue here. Um, more ideas. Mm. Okay, this. Okay, activity C. Okay, try the words. Write the words or phrases from the box. Box here. Okay. Write the words or phrases from the box in the correct column. You have one column of good things and other column of bad things. Bad things. Okay. Bad thing. Excellent. Yes. How do you say good things in Spanish? Buenas uh, cosas. Unas cosas o cosas buenas, es bad things. Bad. Cosas malas. Cosas malas. When, when you finish, you have to add two more ideas to each. What is each? Cada. Cada. Each column, yeah. okay? Cada is this clear? Yes. yes. Let's go. When you finish, teacher, I finish. Yeah, they cherish it. Wow, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Teacher. Yes. What is bullying in Spanish? What is what? Pollution? Building, dice teacher. Ah, buildings. Yes. Buildings, edificios. Uh, <coughs> Thank you. Very good, Karina. Thank you. Teacher, I finish. Okay, okay.
try finish. Okay. Finish teacher. Okay. Finish. Okay. Finish teacher. Finish teacher. Finish teacher. Okay. Finish teacher. I finished teacher. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So, beautiful buildings. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Good thing. Good thing. Good thing. Good thing. <laughs> Crime, is it a good or bad, bad thing? Bad thing. Bad thing. Bad thing. A lot of noise. Bad thing. Bad thing. Bad thing. Bad thing. Bad thing. Heavy bad traffic. Thing. Bad thing. Bad thing. <laughs> no, not good. Public transportation. Good thing. Good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> Pollution. Good thing. No, bad thing. Very good. Yeah, very. No, por eso dije good thing. No. Okay. Pollution. Yeah, pollution is a bad thing. Trees and green space. Many different stores. Good thing. Good thing. Good thing, yes, very good. Excellent. Now, two more good things. Good things, yeah, two more. Great neighbors. Okay, good neighbors, good. Security. Security, very good. Environment. Okay. Environment. Not the environment, okay, but good environment. Okay, good parks, yes. Now, Bad things, bad things. Mm. They're in the streets. Chief. Okay, okay, what, 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 Brenda, you said? Dirty streets. Dirty streets, okay. Uh, Yao Yo, Chief. I think. Chief, uh, ladrones, creo que se le dice. Ah, thief, thief. Ah. Like thieves, like thieves. Dangerous? Uh huh. Dangerous, right? Dangerous. Many industries. Yeah, factories, right? Very good industries and uh, industries. Yes, industries. Homeless. Homeless. Yeah, vagabundos. Oh yeah, homeless. Well, homeless is a bad, yeah, bad thing. Yeah. For a neighborhood. For a neighborhood. Yeah. It's a drink. Okay, but <laughs> homeless. But no creo que haya mucho problema, no ser que este homeless sea un thief. <laughs> pero <laughs> si es un homeless, no creo que haya mucho problema. Pero si se convierte en un, no, ahí es un problema. Okay. Teacher, okay. public transportation is a I mean, bad thing. Yes, public transportation is, is bad for the neighborhood. 
Yes. Hace yes. mucho ruido. Yes. Ah. Yes. Ya, yeah, pero... ¿Cómo te movilizas? Ah, public, yes. Car... Very good. Public transportation, Depende. yes. Depende. Yes. Depende. But, estamos hablando de public transportation, no de private transportation. Okay. What is private transportation? That is good, like privado, right? But a public is like your buses, and ni, ni, cha, boom. No? So, this is, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, see, all right, yeah. So, public maybe is a yeah, bad thing for the neighborhood. Okay, excellent. So, is this clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now let's continue then with the next page, next page. Okay, goal number three, discuss an action. Discuss an action. Plan. Plan, very good. Okay, here we have, what is the name of this? What is this? Map. A map, yes, a map, right? This is a map, okay? And we have some words here, for example. Repeat after me. South. 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 Symbols. 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 East. 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 No, East. 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 Ah, solo East. 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 Key. Key. Ah, key, key, very good, key. key. West. 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 Scale. 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 Scale, very good. Excellent. And um, <laughs> this is using maps, okay? Study the map, so you have to pay attention to the map. And write the words from the box, south, symbol, east, key, west, scale in the correct space. Is this clear? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 Está duplicado. Sí, ¿no? I only have... Son demasiado bondadosos que me querían poner dos ahí. A ver, por favor, si alguien tiene... Lo tiene bien, puede pasarlo, por favor, al grupo, porque ahora soy yo el que necesito. Please. Thank you, Brenda. Para mí está escrito. Ya con, con, con ayudada todavía. <laughs> ok. Okay, please, when you finish, tell teacher I finished, okay?
Ok. I finished it. I finished it. Ok, ok. I finished Okay. I finished the chair. Okay. I finished the chair. Good. Um, I have a problem. I don't know where and is and where. Ah. I finished the chair. <laughs> yeah, that that would be a problem for everybody. Second of Rucola, please. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna look it up right after. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's excellent, huh? Okay. Tengo, okay, excellent. So this is what? North? North, North. Okay, so this is north. What is this? Okay, no, no, let's, let's go for this. Let's go for this. What is this? South. West. Oh. Oh, south. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is south. <coughs> south. And this? West. 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 East. 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 Uh, east. Yeah, east. And this? West. West. If we have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Ahí me dice que hay el norte. Sí, es que están viendo al revés, creo, ¿no? Ahí mira, estoy yendo al norte. Pero qué raro, porque estoy chueco y sin el norte. Ya, yeah, excelente. Ok, good. Um, ok, library, museum. Symbols. 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 What are November 2020 or 20? I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, e. And what my kilometers? Scale. 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 How do you say north in Spanish? Norte. 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 South. Sur. Sur. East. 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 West. Oeste. Pacific Ocean. Mountain range. Mountain range. The mountain range is next to the coast. Yes. The mountain range is next to the coast. The coast? Coast, mountain range, in the jungle. Yeah, Sierra. 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 Okay. Yeah, in this case, it's clave. Uh, scale. Scala. Scala. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Good. Uh, what is the city hall? What is the city hall? <laughs> What? Uh, hmm. what is a city hall? Este, la municipalidad. No municipalidad, excellent. What is the art gallery? Galería de arte. The train station. 
The museum. The National University. Okay. What is a bridge? Bridge. Bridge. Puente. Puente. I think it's like this. Bridge. Yes. Puente. Puente. What is the river? Rio. Rio. Uh-huh. Excellent, excellent. No more, no more. Okay. Uh, well, what is the library? Biblioteca. 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 Right? And how do you say librería? Bookstore. Bookstore. Library. Bookstore. Library is biblioteca. Okay? Bookstore is the librería. Okay. Museum. How do you say museum? Okay. Yeah. Public, yeah. public, public sports center. Center. Centro de deporte público, right? Okay. Shopping center. Centro comercial. Centro comercial. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Now let's uh, move on. Let's continue. Um, ah, yeah, this is for the, oh, oh sorry, sorry, give me, <laughs> yeah, there we go, okay, so now, letter B, okay, letter B, uh, in which parts of the city, in which parts of the city, okay, are the libraries? In the of the college, in the north, next to public uh, sports center. Uh huh. Next to the public sports, the public sports center. The public sports center. Yeah, here the public sports center here or here no, as well. No, this is a train station, right? This here, right? Yes. Yes. Next to the public sports center here. Next to the, uh, next to the train station. Next to, yeah, next to the train station here. Near our new shopping center. Uh -huh, near the shopping center. Uh, near shopping. the shopping center. Okay, excellent. Where are the public sports center? <laughs> In front to our gallery. In front, yeah, yeah, maybe here or yeah, next to, right? Next to or in front, yes, very good. In front of the art gallery. Okay. <clears throat> Other? Other public sports center? Next to the train station. Uh, next to the train station here. <coughs> okay, and here. This is a shopping center. Shopping center. Yeah, but shopping. this is but this is not a <coughs> no. sport, public sports center. Yes, but this is a huge. <coughs> ah, oh, good, good. Okay, where will the new road be? Uh, between river and next to the river. Uh -huh. Next to the river. Okay. okay. Near the river. Oh, near, near the, the river. river. Very good. Down the down. Yeah. Um, next to the art gallery, city hall, museum, the national university. Okay. Very good. How many shopping centers does the city have now? One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four, right? Very good. Now, and how many do you think it will have in 2020? 
Uh, uh, right, six. Uh -huh. It will have in 2020. In 2020, no se van a quitar los otros cuatro, ¿no? O los otros, perdón, cuatro, ¿ya? Se le agregan dos. So, four and two, six. Okay, is this clear? Yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. good, good. Give me a second, please. <laughs> Voy a hacer un perrito. Okay, un perro menos. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, yeah, so right now, how many shopping shopping centers? Four. Yes? In yes. 2020, two more. More, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Six. 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 Excellent. Now, what do you think this city needs? Uh, um, police station. Police station. Police station. Sure. Hospital. A Hospital. A school. Hospital. Yes. Police uh, station. A police station. Cinema. Ah, yes. A cinema, mm. right? A movie theater. Yes. Excellent. Wait. Ok, sé que me acabo de dar cuenta que ese libro creo que ya no va a funcionar en el 2021, ¿no? Porque se trata de que el 2020 es el futuro, ¿no? Y en el 2021 va a ser el futuro, está en pasado. Ok, qué tristeza. Excellent. Now, let's continue with grammar. Will, how do you say this in Spanish? Oh, sorry, not in Spanish, in English. Will plus. Plus, plus. Uh -huh. plus, like Disney Plus, right? <laughs> Excellent. So, will plus time clauses, okay? Not Santa clauses, not Santa clauses. Huh? Time clauses, okay? Please, what is a clause? A clause is una oración, simplemente. Okay? A clause is una oración. So, what well, this is a, what? A time clause, okay? Time clause. So study the sentences in circle. Correct letter. The correct letter. The correct letter. Okay. So here. Okay. What is the sentence, please, Carla Diaz? I will finish my homework before I go to bed. Okay. Very good. I will finish my homework before I go to bed. Okay, one more time, pay attention, okay? I will finish my homework before I go to bed. Now, question number one, please, Karina. What is question number one? Uh, uh, what will you do first? Very good. The question is, what will you do first? Will you finish your homework first or go to bed first? Finish my homework. Finish my finish homework. My homework. Yeah, finish. very good. Excellent. Finish my homework. Finish. I will finish my homework before. Okay, go to bed. Okay. What is the please? Uh, um, Mailing Mendoza. What is number two, please? Meli Mendoza. Sí, te escucha. Hey, Meli, please, number two. The word before. The word before the. Shows the action. That happens. Aha, uh -huh, very good. 
So the word before here, this word before, shows the action that happens first or second. So one more time, the word before shows, o sea, se refiere de muestra, the action that happens first or second. Here, for example, I use, <coughs> I, fin I will finish my homework before I go to bed. Second. 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 Yes? Yes. Okay. No problem, eh? no problem. So, vamos a comparar with this. We are going to compare. Here, please, Luis, Clavijo, what is the sentence? I will wash the dishes after I eat dinner. I will wash the dishes after I eat dinner. Okay. Now, number one, please, Ricardo Cartagena. What will you do first? Very good. What will you do first? Will you wash the dishes first? Or you're going to eat first? Eat, eat dinner. Eat dinner. Very yeah. good. You eat yeah. dinner first. Eat dinner. Okay. I will wash the dishes after dishes. I eat dinner. So I eat dinner and wash the dishes. Okay. Number two. The word after shows the action that happens first or second? Second. First. First. Uh -huh. uh, There's. Second. Here, after I, after this, después de esto, this is first. Esto pasa primero, this first. After this, I will wash the dishes. And here, before I go to bed, this is the second action, yes? Yeah. What is action one? I will finish my homework. Okay? Now, please, let's see here, okay? I will finish my homework before I go to bed. Yes? Yes. Okay, so here we have two, two, two clauses. We have will clause, okay, the will, this is the will clause. And this is the time clause. Okay, time clause. Now, I will finish my homework. How do you say I will finish my homework in Spanish? Yo terminaré mi tarea before before I go to bed. Antes de ir a dormir. Antes de ir a dormir. Okay, antes de ir a dormir. So this before I go to bed refers to this. Eso se refiere. And this I go to bed is what is action action. Oh, word, sorry. First action or second action? Second action. Then ordering. ¿Cuál va a pasar primero? First, este, go to bed. Is the first action or the second action? Second. Second, oh. action. second action. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué debo hacer before? Finish my homework. Finish. Is this clear? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Now, the other. Okay, so in this case, before is for second action. What is the other sentence, please? I will wash the dishes wash after them. I eat the dinner. After? After I eat the dinner. Okay. So, after I eat dinner, this is the time clause. Okay, time close. And this is the wheel close. Okay? Now, I will wash the dishes after I eat dinner. After is referring to I eat dinner. Okay? So, after refers to first action. So, 
sorry, or second action. After refers to I eat dinner. And I eat dinner is a first action or the second action? First action. First action. Is that? First action. First action. Because it means that I lava the los platos después de esto. So I eat dinner is first. And I will wash the dishes in lo siguiente. Is the second action. Is this clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now let's go back to the book. Okay. So any questions here or this is clear? Your teacher, this is clear. Excellent. Okay. Now let's pay attention here. This is a grammar. Okay. Uh, please, Catherine Mori. Please, can you help me in this sentence? I look at the neighborhood carefully before I choose a new apartment. Very good, thank you. So before I choose a new apartment, okay, is that time close? I look at the new name, sorry, I look at the neighborhood carefully, is that will close, okay? Yes? My question is easy. What happens first? What is the first action? Look at the neighborhood carefully. Look at the neighborhood carefully. Very good. I look at the neighborhood carefully before, before, antes de que, before que, I choose a new apartment. So I choose a new apartment is the second action. First, I look at the neighborhood and the next action is choose a neighbor, a new, a new apartment. Is this clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Next, please, I'm going to ask um, Ariana Martinez. Please, go. No, Ariana, hello. Ariana. Yes, hello, yes. Yes. Please, can you go with this before? Before we choose the, a new apartment, I will look at, at the neighborhood carefully. carefully. Very good. Thank you. Carefully, yes. Okay. So before I choose a new apartment, I look at the neighborhood carefully. What action happens first? What is the first action? Before I choose a new apartment or no? What is the first action? Look at, look at the neighbor person. Uh -huh. So before, recuerden, but before, I guess, uh, cuando before está junto a esa clause, a qué se refiere? A la second action or first action? Second action. Second action, pues, inmediatamente, ya recuerden. Al lado de after is the? First. First action. Yes. And before? Después. It's second. a second action. Second. Is this clear? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Aquí cambiaron, they changed the order. But no problem, la idea sigue siendo la misma. Mm. Okay. So no piense que como que cambien el orden, no, no. Tendrán que cambiar el before del lado, o el after, okay? Please, Ingrid, here. Teacher, pero, ya. Yeah. ¿Están ah. que se muy no se escucha? Yes, sí. yes. Bueno, sí, pero si lo lees rápido, nos sí. vamos a escuchar a ti. Yeah. I'll meet my neighbors after I move in, into my new apartment. Very good, thank you, Ingrid. Okay, so I'll meet my neighbors after I move into my new apartment. So what happens first? I meet my... No, I, I move, move into my, 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 my new apartment. Very good. After, se refiere a... 
I move into my new apartment. So after is next to the first action or the second action? The first action. So I move into my new apartment and after I meet my neighbors. Okay, is this clear? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Now, next, please, Jogabeth, Cardenas, help me, please. After I move into my new apartment, I will meet my neighbors. Very good. After I move into my new apartment, I'll meet my neighbors. What action happens first? I move into my apartment. I move into my, my new apartment. Very good. And after, I'll meet my neighbors. Is this clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, now, please pay attention here. Okay, give me a second, please. Here. Okay. So, uh, I'll visit, I'll visit, right? I'll visit my neighbors. Yes, it's a sentence. I'll visit. Um, I'll meet. 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 I'll meet. I'll meet. Right. Thank you. Uh, I'll meet my new neighbors or my neighbors. My, my, neighbor. my neighbor. Yeah. After I move into my new apartment. Apartment. New apartment. New apartment. New apartment. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Excellent. So now, okay. Oh, here's just one. Okay. One. I'll meet. Okay. So I'll meet my new neighbors. Oh, sorry. I'll meet my neighbors after I move into my new apartment. Okay. Now, here, pay attention. Uh, after I Okay, now these two sentences here. Now my question is, do they, um, do they have the same idea or not? This is my question. Do they have the same idea or no? Here. The same idea or different ideas? Different. Different. Different ideas. Different. How do you say how do you say I'll meet my neighbors after I move into my new apartment in Spanish? And after I meet my neighbors, I'll move into my new apartment. How do you say this in Spanish? Después. Puede conocer a mis vecinos. A mi nuevo departamento. Se dan cuenta, aquí no solo cambié el orden, sino que cambié el sentido. Que no es como esto de aquí, ¿no? Que yo lo que tendría que hacer para cambiar de orden, pero no de sentido, es esto. After I move into my new apartment and I'll meet my neighbor. Solo tendría que hacer esto. Yes, so after I move into my new apartment, I'll meet my neighbors. Okay, and this is different. Okay, aquí solo cambié what? The order, pero no right. the idea. Okay. Aquí qué sigue siendo primero? I, I move into uh -huh. my new I move into my new apartment. apartment. Y luego after I meet my neighbors. 
Okay. Aquí igual, I'll meet my neighbors after I move into my new apartment. Pero aquí, after I meet my neighbors, I'll move into my new apartment. Y aquí cambió el orden y encima the idea. Okay. Is this clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So please, if it's not clear, ask me questions. Okay. I don't have problems to explain one more time. Eh, si no han entendido, la mejor manera de entender algo es analizando, meditando. Okay. ¿Por qué eso? ¿Por qué? Pero solo a veces, ¿no? Uno dice, pero eso hizo, pero escribió y tendría sentido, voy buscando mi diccionario. Eh, muchas veces no vas a entender solamente porque el teacher te lo explica, sino porque tú lo estudias. ¿Ok? Excellent. Now let's go back. Um, please, uh, Maricielo, can you help me with this first at risk? Hey, time close tell when some time happens. Use before or after at the beginnings of a time clause. Thank you so much. So a time clause tells when something happens. Okay. Cuando pasa algo, when something happens. You use before and after when? In the will clause or the time clause? And the time clause. Very good. For the time clause. Okay. For the, and the beginning, al inicio comienzo, the beginning of the time clause. Okay, now please, um, let's see. Edwin Mauricio, help me please here. In a sentence. sentence we will use the simple present tense in the time clause. Very good. So when we use uh, will, we have to use here the simple present tense in the time clause. Here. Uh, look at the neighborhood carefully. This is will. And this time close, in what tense is this? Present, simple present. Uh -huh. Simple present or present? Simple. Is this clear? Yeah. Or no? Is this clear or no? Wait, is this clear? I think it's no, but is it clear? Yes. Mm. Yes, teacher. Okay. Me estoy preocupando, de verdad. Porque, okay, one more time, one more time. ¿Qué le dice? In a sentence with will, en una oración with will, con will, use the simple present tense, o sea, el presente simple, in the time clause. Okay, en la oración, en la oración, en la cláusula clause del tiempo. Okay. For example, here, before I choose a new apartment, I choose, it's in simple present. I choose, simple present. I move, simple present. I move, simple present. Okay, is this clear? Yes. yes. And yes. will, ¿qué tiempo es en will? Mm. Obviously, porque está will, it's future. Yo creo que ahí tienen que solo despertar, ¿eh? Así. ¿Ok? Yes. Porque se están durmiendo en muchas cosas que están pensando, pero todo eso lo saben. Eh, no se confundan. Eh. ¿Ok? Entonces falta él despertar nada más. ¿Ok? Good. Now, the next one. Please, um, I'm going to ask... Anya, Please, woman. Help me. The time clause can come first or second in the sentence. Uh, if the time clause is clear, it is followed by a comma. Thank you so much. So the time clause can come first or second. So puede ser, I'll meet my neighbors after I move into my new apartment. Acá viene segunda, ¿no? En la segunda parte. Aquí viene la primera parte. After I move into my new apartment, I'll meet my neighbors. Eso es lo que le dice. Puede venir o adelante o atrás. No problem. Pero hay una diferencia. If the time clause is first, ¿qué dice? If the time clause is first, ¿qué dice? La clause, la oración de tiempo está primero. ¿Le sigue qué? A comma. A comma here. Aquí, coma. 
No. No. Aquí no coma. Cuando está después, no coma. Cuando viene primero, yes. Is this clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Please. Recordando ahora su examen del básico pasado, tuvieron un montón de problemas con el if clause, con el if y el result clause. ¿Recuerdan? Mm -hmm. ¿O no recuerdan? Yes. A ver. A ver, a ver, a ver. Ok. ¿Recuerdan que había un, una, un este, el condicional? ¿Recuerdan que aprendimos el condicional? Si es, yes. haces esto, ¿pasará eso? ¿Recuerdan? Yes. Ok, ya. Yes. Yeah. Pero yo también recuerdo que no le salió bien cuando hicieron el examen, sinceramente. ¿Okay? ¿Ese es por qué? Porque no, se, 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 se desorbita, ¿no? Se salen de órbita como si fuese otro, una cosa de otro mundo. Y no, en realidad es solamente una combinación de lo que ustedes ya saben. ¿Ok? Eso ya lo saben. Ustedes saben el future, saben present simple. Solo están viendo aquí el orden, comas. ¿Ok? Um, ok, voy a hacer algo. Give me a second, please. Ok, por su propio bien, ok, en el examen de ley que va a venir esta vez, no tengo ni que decírselo, ok, eh, así que le voy a mandar algunos ejercicios para que hagan y tienen que presentarlos máximo el día de hoy, en cualquier momento del día, pero lo presentan hoy, ok, así que les voy mandando los enlaces al WhatsApp, ok, ¿es clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. No escriban nada, please. Okay? No escriban nada ahorita para que los enlaces estén juntos. No vayan a escribir y se separan. Okay? No escriban nada, please. El que escribe y lo separa ya se va despidiendo el basic <ríe> Mentira, mentira, no se hace. No tiene por qué estresarse, tranquilo, relájese. ¿eh? Profe, pero no es la única tarea. Eh, lo siento, pero tienen, si, si no están seguros, no puedo continuar. Después se van a perder más. Mm. Y eso les va a ayudar con la tarea que tienen que hacer ustedes. No sea malo. No, más bien sí, bueno, porque les estoy dando ejercicio para que practiquen. ¿Ok? Ahora, ¿saben por qué yo, mire, soy, yo, ustedes saben que yo soy re sincero con ustedes, ¿ok? Siempre le digo las cosas así como tienen que ser y no les escondo nada. Eh, si yo les dijese a ustedes que esa nota no es calificada, el 99,9% de la clase no haría el ejercicio. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque necesitan que les obliguen a hacer los ejercicios. ¿Ok? Si voy ahorita a MyLT, no he ido a MyLT varios días. No sé cómo estará ese MyLT. Ah, entonces, si yo no obligo, no lo hacen. ¿Se dan cuenta? Y por, entonces después me dicen, Ticho, pero ¿por qué no aprendo? Porque no hacen las tareas por, por tu cuenta, pues. Quiere que te presione. No sé, ¿se entienden? Entonces, si yo no le dijera, hasta el día de hoy, tiene que enviarme... Si no, no, no pongo nota, o sea, le tengo que amenazar para que hagan la tarea. Para que practiquen, ¿entienden? Y eso no se trata, pues. ¿Ok? Um, ya, para que vean que soy bueno. <ríe> Tienen hasta el día de mañana antes de la clase, ¿ya? Para mandarlo. Un poquito más de tiempo. ¿Está bien o no? O, o lo dejamos para hoy nada más. Sí, profe. Ya, no. 
de mañana, tío. Ya, excelente. Se mató la madrugada. <risa> Tengo toda la madrugada, tío. Dice. Ya, ayer les he mandado tres. ¿Ok? ¿Es creen y a su correo, no, tío? No, no, no. A ver, vamos a ver, déjame. No, no, mándeme un WhatsApp, pero personal. ¿Ok? Un WhatsApp ¿Cómo? personal. Mañana antes de la clase. En la clase inician a las 10 de la mañana. ¿No? Entonces, antes de las 10. ¿En screen, no te eh, ¿Cómo que? ¿En screen? ¿Como un screenshot? ¿No es Ajá, sí, sí, sí. Yes. Ajá, screenshot, sí, un screenshot. Ok. Practiquen, please. Eso les va a ayudar. Yo creo que todo lo que les enseñamos ahorita, eso debe ser una de las cosas más complicadas que van a hacer. Y ni siquiera el small talk, que es su proyecto, es, es complicado. ¿Ok? So, is this clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah, pero no se, no se desmorone, no se, no se desanime. Creo que necesitan un baby shark ahorita, ¿no? ¿O no? <risa> baby shark, creo. Ya, yeah, yeah, y vamos a dejar ese y vamos a hacer conversation solamente, ¿ok? Mucha cosa ya. Conversation. <laughs> Excellent. So, what is the question? Very good. What does Jenny want for her neighborhood? ¿Ok? Repeat after me. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Ready. Yes. Ok, excelente. So, pero voy a preguntar una vez más, are you ready? Y tiene que responder así, yes, ready, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Uy, el que no hace, uy, el que no hace, el que no hace, voy a poner, espérate, voy a quitar para ver todos. No. ¿Están listos o no están listos? ¿Ah? Hago cantar Baby Shark, que lo tengo ahí justamente esperando. No, sí. Ya, so, are you ready? Yes. Uy, no, he visto solamente tres nada más he visto, ¿ah? Mira, a ver, vamos a ver, sobre todo estoy mirando ahorita a Yauyo, que lo veo muy, muy serio el día de hoy. Ah, ok, excelente. No, está resolviendo, yo creo que ya está resolviendo, ya. Tiene cara de estar resolviendo y confundido ahí. Ok, pero todavía no respondas, ok. So, one more time, ok. Estoy mirando a Ariana también, que está ahí. Ariana. Y tu gato, no sé si estará por ahí también, pero bueno. Ok, so. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Sí, que forzados. Ok, excelente, excelente. Ok, now repeat after me, please. This neighborhood really needs a library. This neighborhood needs a library. You're right. But how can we get one? But how can we get one? I think we should have a neighborhood meeting to talk about it. I think we should have a neighborhood meeting to talk about it. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. And after we have the meeting, We'll write a letter to the newspaper. And after we have the meeting, we'll write a letter to the newspaper. To the what? Newspaper. 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 Great! I'll help you. Great! I'll help you. Excellent. Now, here, in this sentence, here you have After we have the meeting, we'll write a letter to the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, what happens first? We have the meeting or we'll write a letter to the newspaper? We have, we the, have the meeting. Have the Very meeting. good. We have the meeting first and second, we'll write a letter to the newspaper. Is this clear? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So, como les como mencionó, o les mencioné antes. Las clases de, por el resto de esta semana quedan, ya no hay clases. No, mentira, eso no es mentira. Eso. No, este, por el resto de la semana comienzan a las 10, right? A las 10 en la mañana, a las 10. 
eh, de 10 a 12. Si termino un poco antes, tampoco voy a sobrecargar, ¿no? Por ejemplo, ahorita ya terminamos, así que no voy a sobrecargar más porque ya ha avanzado lo que tengo que avanzar. El día de mañana avanzamos dos páginas más desde las 10 de la mañana. Así que ustedes deberían estar ingresando desde 10 para las 10 o 5 para las 10 para que solamente yo les dé el pase de ingreso y no tengan problemas de conexión a veces. Porque cuando uno ingresa y la computadora, aunque es una máquina programada, si tú le das muchas órdenes y se le, y se le entejea y se pone lento y tú le das más, más órdenes, no va a avanzar. Entonces, si usted hace una orden por tiempo, por momento, con calma, va a avanzar tranquilo. ¿Ok? Entonces, muchas veces eso pasa porque uno lo acelera y quiere que en un segundo ya aprende la computadora y está dentro de la reunión. No es así. Así que les recomiendo, a las 10 y 1, 10 y 2, yo estoy comenzando, apenas se dejo ingresar. ¿Ok? Ahora, antes de retirarnos, obviamente ya es una costumbre, no, no sé si es, pueden oler lo que huelo yo. No sé si pueden también oler igual que yo, pero huele un poco a Mayati. No. Ese olor, no sé por qué ahorita ese olor no me agrada. No sé. No sé por qué huele mal. No. Se va a sorprender, Tisha. Yo, yo, yo me sorprendí ni siquiera antes de con antes de siquiera verlo ya. Este símbolo, este símbolo de Bésico 4 se lo hubiera puesto a Bésico 7, creo. No sé por qué, no sé por qué. Por lo gordito. A ver, Basic Science. Vamos, acompañe, mire, ya hay 45. Y me puedes ayudar, eh, Marcelo Paola, ¿cuántos somos en clase? 54. 54, miren. ¿Cuántos son en Mayotte? 45. 45. Entonces hay nueve alumnos que todavía ni siquiera se han registrado. Y yo me pregunto, ¿será nuevamente nuestro compañero de aula virtual, Eric Hernández? Acompáñenme a ver esa triste historia. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. A ver, vamos a ver acá. Wow. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Se demora en cargar porque ahorita está entrando Eric recién. Hay mucha tarea. Mucha tarea, teacher. Ahí está. No, no había tanto, había un poquito nomás. Mire, se cargó. Mire, en Cano no ha habido sin H todavía. Ya, o sea, no hay nada. Nada de nada, 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 nada. Nada, nada. ¿Dónde está Eric? Ahí está, mira, eh. Ah, está ahí, excelente. Ahorita avanzado, no mira, ahorita. Ahorita ha comenzado, mira. Ahorita ha comenzado. A ver. Ya, miren, acá está, miren. Miren, de los 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Recién tengo el libro, profe. Recién me llegó. 6. 7, 8. Son 8 alumnos de los 45 que no han avanzado nada. ¿Ok? Y ahora, Yaranga, podrás emocionarte porque tienes 100 acá. No, ¿cierto? Porque tu realidad es que has avanzado un 3%. Te cayó mi ¿no? ¿No? Entonces, todavía, ¿no? Todavía, hasta ahora puedes estar feliz, pero todavía no tan feliz. Mucho trabajo, mucho trabajo, teacher. Buddy. Pero... Ustedes aceptaron el compromiso de inglés, ¿no? Entonces, acéptenlo más. Miren aquí, mira, Paola tiene un 100%, pero ha avanzado 1,3 prácticamente. Entonces, hay bastante que hacer. ¿Y eso se termina cuándo? ¿Cuándo, cuándo? El Friday. El Friday. ¿Es una vacancia por ahí? Quiero, quiero que me digan porque yo quiero vacar a alguien. A ver, a ver, que me digan. Que me digan. Acá tengo un nuevo alumno, no se ha caído, se ha desmayado. No, no tengo un nuevo alumno. Ya. No <risa> fui teacher. Excelente, excelente, muy bien. No, mentira, estaba bromeando. Este, no hay problema, bueno. Yo sé, yo les dije, desafortunadamente se empezó una semana tarde, así que... Pero tampoco les puedo dejar a ustedes sin enseñarles lo que les debo enseñar. ¿O quiere que les deje sin enseñarlo en día 4? No. Porque van a ir al, al básico 8 y no se les va a enseñar la unidad 4. Se le enseña a las 5, 6, 7 y 8. ¿Entienden? Entonces, teacher, mejor, pues. No, pues cuando llegue la 8, ni papá, saben. ¿No? ¿Por qué? Porque no estudiaron la 4, ¿entienden? Entonces, oh, paciencia. Okay, ¿Any questions? 
No, teacher, la clase que dice, la teacher, las clases serán presenciales el otro año. Bueno, voy a llamar al, al, al ministro de educación para conversar un rato con él. ¿no? A ver, para ver si qué es lo que me dice, ¿no? Me dice Jonathan, sí, no sé, hermano, ¿tú qué piensas? No, no sé, de verdad, Ay, hasta 2022. Pero no, en realidad no sé, no sé si es que es, pues, no. Puede ser virtual. Eh, no, ¿Prefiere virtual o presencial? Virtual. Presencial, virtual. obviamente. Virtual. Virtual. No, virtual no, virtual no, 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 virtual no, 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 porque no, puedo luchar contra mi, mis sábanas. <risa> okay. no, no, teacher, ya, el, ya mi familia hace mucha bulla, ya no, 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 la presencial, la semipresencial y la virtual, ¿no? Y, y posiblemente, dependiendo también de cómo evolucionen las cosas para mejor, ¿no? Pero ya, como menos donde van a saber, les hago saber. Lo que sí sé, que en diciembre, para aquellos que a veces, creo que el año pasado, no sé si el año pasado o el anteaño pasado, no, hubo, no hubieron clases en diciembre, creo. El año pasado, el año pasado. Ya, este año, sí va a haber. Tampoco. Así que... <risa> No, sí va a haber, sí va a haber, porque me han preguntado si van a continuar, por eso le dicen. Había... Claro, y tenemos que cantar Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, o si no, Rodolfo del Reno. Ya, sí, chocolatada. Claro. Chocolatada, ¿no? Chocolatada. chocolatada. Nos juntamos en, en el lobo de la perla. Oh, no, que los que, están, los que están muy lejos en Cañete ya, no digo llamar. Ya. Excelente, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 B